everyone, my name is Nora Cuellar. For those of you that this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to my channel. Oh, first of all, I do want to apologize for the lighting in here. It's nighttime outside and I did just record, I did just record this video. So the lighting is just like, it's not it. I was like casting this weird shadow over my face so you couldn't even see what I was doing. So I had to like turn off my bedroom light and just use my ring light. But I am working on making like a better little backdrop and a better setting with better lighting for you guys. So I'm excited for that. But yes, I did this little eye makeup look yesterday and I posted it on my Instagram and on my Snapchat and all of that. And I got a few requests to do it. And so I did, I felt it for you guys. It looks like Trix yogurt, like my friend Alex said. So we're just gonna call it like a little Trix yogurt eye look, I guess. I didn't do like my eyebrows or my actual like face makeup. I just put on like the concealer, a little bit of foundation and bronzer on off camera. So my face would just look tied together. I didn't film that part. I just wanted to make like a quick fast little tutorial for you guys on just the eyes. But if you guys do want to see like a face makeup tutorial, then I would be more than happy to make it for you guys. Hmm? Yeah. If you guys want to know how to recreate this little look, then keep on watching. Let's go ahead and get started. So for my base, you're always going to want to use a base when you do eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my absolute favorite concealer. Just because, I mean, whether it's for using it as a base or highlighting or concealing, um, it's my favorite. It's just super pigmented and super creamy. So, you know, it's amazing. I am the shade Light Sand. And then I'm going to take a wet little beauty blender. And I'm going to just blend that out on my eyelid. And you do want to make sure that before you do your makeup that your face is freshly washed. Otherwise, the dirt and all the stuff from the environment is going to get trapped under the makeup and it's going to give you blemishes and breakouts and you do not want that. And please do also wash your hands. That is also very, 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 very important. Okay, so after that, I'm going to set my eyelid. I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. This is new. I just started using it, and I already love it. I did used to use the Air Spun, but I found, I don't know, it just made my skin really dry, and it wasn't really doing. I don't know if they changed the formula. I used to love it, but it's just like different now, and it just doesn't do anything for me, really. Plus, this one. It tastes so good. Oh, it tastes like peaches. It smells like peaches. Of course you want your face to smell and taste like peaches. <laughs> well, I am using the Daisy Marquez palette. <laughs> Yay! Okay, this is really cute because it's, okay, this is the cover, but you can just snap it off and look, <laughs> it turns into its own little vanity. That is so cute. So you can just yourself while you do your makeup you know on the go what I'm going to start with is a transition color as always you always want your transition color it'll help blend your colors out right it'll give you kind of like another little base but for the actual colors and I'm going to use Dulce just gonna tap into that with a fluffy brush and blend it all over the crease you can put it on your eyelid too just really put it everywhere Once you have your trans transition color on there, you're gonna dip into passion fruit. It looks like a little passion fruit color. You know, like the little passion fruit refreshers. Is that even a thing? I don't even know. I might be making that up. It might be the very berry one, but whatever. It looks like a fruit. Okay, you're gonna dip into that with another fluffy brush. And you're gonna wanna pack that color starting on your crease and just start buffing it out. Remember, this is the main color. This is going to be all over. These colors are pigmented, so I like to start with a little bit and just keep adding on, just because it's better to, I mean, don't be scared of adding the color on there, but it's better to start off little by little then ending up with too much and then not being able to blend your colors out right so now with a more fluffy brush this one is a little more dense and this one's a little more fluffy you're gonna want to 
just basically do the same thing but just really blend i'm using like little windshield wiper motions mixed with little like swirlies Ooh, blend the eyeshadow till your arm falls off. And right now, it's okay if you get it like a little over here, just like it's okay if you go a little overboard because either way, you're gonna go in after and clean it up. So, just really pack that color on. Remember, you are gonna look pretty crazy at first but everything's gonna tie in together at the end so it'll be okay so now I'm taking a smaller kind of domed tapered brush and really adding that pigment to where I need it I'm putting it on my crease and on the outer part of my eye then after that blend away and the brushes that I am using some of them are like It Cosmetics. Or these little tiny ones are like a Milani Travel. But these white ones, they are the Jaclyn Hill and uh, Anne Morphe brushes. And I absolutely love them. I just got them not too long ago. And they're great. Now, we are going to cut the crease and add the blue. I'm going to take this. I lost my train of thought for a second. Okay, I'm gonna take this flat brush, this little skinny flat brush, and I'm gonna dip it back into my concealer. <laughs> I look insane. And you're gonna just tap it. Remember, a little goes a long way. You're not gonna need a lot, you don't need to scoop it up. You just tap it and cut. I like to start in my inner corner and bring it up. on so that your color will pop. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. It'll help the color stick and it'll help it pop. My eyes are like almond shape but my lid is like very round just because my eyes are big so I do need to like pull out my eyelid and cut it like that so that I won't get any like weird creases. And this border right here on where the concealer meets the eyeshadow, it doesn't have to be perfect because in the end you're just gonna go back and blend the pink into it so you won't even be able to see that line. So it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not. So now I am going to take this flat brush right here and I'm gonna dip into the color Daisy. It's like this little mint color. Reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream, which is my favorite. I know everyone hates mint chocolate, or like mint chocolate in general, but I think it's amazing. Those Olive Garden candies, I will eat every single one. Okay, so then you're going to add that blue on there, right where the concealer is. I do like to put some more on there and spray my MAC Fix Plus on it. This will just help with the pigment a lot. This is a very light color. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out compared to this dark berry color. So I just really want it to pop and the Fix Plus will help with that. And if you need to layer, then go ahead and layer. Okay, so now that that blue is on there, I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, it's all over my pants. I'm gonna take the little domed brush again and dip back into the passion fruit color. And I'm just going to bring it into the blue. Ooh. With like little tiny stroking motions. But you're gonna wanna use like little fairy hands. It's like very, 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 very light handed. Otherwise, if you go too hard, it'll make the colors like streaky. It can take off your eyeshadow. So you wanna be very light handed with this. I like to hold my brush back here just so it won't be so forceful up here. I'm just gonna take some more with my fluffy brush and really just add the finishing touches that I see that need to be added. So now that you're done with that, you're just gonna put some more concealer under here just to clean it up, just like this. Wow, 
filming. And then you're gonna blend that out with your beauty blender. If there are any parts that are too harsh, I just won't blend. I like to put my blending brush into a little bit of setting powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on off camera. So I'll be right back. I did go ahead and finish my other eye off camera. So yeah, these eyes are finished, but we are gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glitter on it. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter and Glam Rock. These are really cute. They have colorful shades and they also have like gold and silver and all that, but I'm using the silver one. So where I'm gonna apply it is up here, right above the blue on the inner corner and then down here past the blue. So you're just gonna apply a little line right where the blue is, you can see that? And then you're gonna apply another little line down here past the blue on the purple, like on your lash line. You won't be able to see the bottom one very much just because the eyelashes are in the way, but it does add something. And you do want to let this dry without opening your eyes too much because it does tend to get everywhere and then it can get like up here on to your purple and you don't really want that. So then after that, I'm going to put some color on my lower lash line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into the passion fruit color and I'm going to put this kind of like in the middle of my lower lash line if that makes sense. but I'm not gonna bring it all the way to the inner corner. But you do wanna fade it out though, so again, you're gonna use some little fairy hands, very light-handed. And then I'm gonna dip into the daisy color again, and then that's gonna go on the outer lash line. Just gonna blend those into each other. And I'm just gonna take the little brush that I used for setting my eyelid. I'm just gonna sweep under. Just to get anything off that shouldn't be there. All right, and then you're just gonna add mascara to your lower lash line. This makes like a big difference. It makes your eyes just go like. And if you wanted to, you could even add a little bit of glitter right here, right in your little inner corner, just to add a little something else to it. Yeah, this is the final, the final eye look. Let's just zoom in real quick. It takes forever to zoom in. Yeah, that is the, the finished little product. Um, so yeah, this completes today's little tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to thank everyone for all the love that you've given me on my past videos. It makes me so happy to see everyone's reactions when you tell me that like they're silly and that they're funny and that you guys laughed and all of that. But also a lot of that credit goes to my friend Alex. Ayala, he was in my past video or one of my past videos where he does my makeup. He does edit my videos for me, which I appreciate so, so much because it's a huge help. And like we have the same sense of humor. So the things he adds in my videos, they're perfect. They are totally me and they just add so much to the video. So I just huge, 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 huge thank you to him for helping me out with that. So yeah, feel free to share my videos, share my channel, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you guys watch my future videos and I'm looking forward to making so many more for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!